Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today we need to have a look at some new products which are very cool and very exciting, and you should be very excited about. And we're going to start off with one that I've kind of mentioned previously as a rumor, but it's not one we had any confirmation about or any proof of until today. You see, it's official, Annihilate EX is coming, ladies and gentlemen, it is coming. As an EX box, I probably should have made that clearer. It's coming as an EX box. Now, one thing that is very important, of course, I've been telling you lately that when it comes to Paldea Evolved, something had to give. Because we knew that we were getting 18 EXs. And we know that Paldea Evolved is basically made up of three Japanese sets. That is, say, Triple Beat and then the double set of Snow Hazard and Clay Burst. And we know that they've got six EXs in each. So in theory, well, there's 18 in Paldea Evolved. There's six in each of those sets. That should add up quite nicely. But in fact, it's not that neat and easy because we know for a fact that the Pikachu EX from the EX deck over in Japan is going to be in our set. So something had to give, we had to lose one of the EXs, this one has been lost. It is also very much worth pointing out, and we have discussed this in previous videos, we know that there are 18 full art EXs, and we know that Pikachu doesn't have a full art, there is not a full art of that Pikachu EX, that, that card doesn't exist. So that basically means that the full art of Annihilate will be in the set, it is only the regular which will be taken out of Powder Air Evolved to be put into this box. So it's going to be like we've seen on a bunch of products before, like the Verizon V box, as an example. The regular Annihil APX will not be in Powder Air Evolved. It will be removed to be put in this product. However, the full art of Annihilate will be in the set. So in a weird kind of way, Annihilate will be in the set. But it will only be in the set as a full art. It will not be in the set as a regular card. Good. Good. So this has now been officially revealed. We have a release date of the 14th of July. And we have a price of $21.99. Now, of course, these used to be $20 products, now $22 products. But remember, the cost of packs has gone up by $0.50 cents a pack. Four packs. That does make sense. What is especially cool about this is you actually get the full evolution line. These V and E X boxes up to now, we saw it with a Verizon one I just showed you a minute ago. They've had an extra card in. Well, here, yeah, we've actually got both. We've got Mankey and Primeape. And what is really cool, they are confirmed to be hollow. We do have the sell sheet for this product. And the sell sheet does confirm that these are hollow cards. And I've made no secret on this channel that I really enjoy the art of Kuramitsu. That Mankey is very obviously a Kuramitsu card. Look at the use of color. And yeah, two foil cards plus Annihil APX plus four boosters. Sounds pretty good to me. One thing that does need to be borne in mind, like I've said, Annihil APX is exclusive, this artwork. But like I say, the full art will be in Paldea Evolved. But if you want the regular, it is only going to be found here. It is actually a very interesting card. Because, and well, it is a stage 2 and that's a problem. But for a single energy, you put up to 12 damage counters on this Pokemon. And you deal 20 damage for each damage counter you put on it. So, you can do big damage for a single energy with a Nile APX. That is something to bear in mind. That is something that is extremely cool. You know what isn't extremely cool? There is something missing. Yes, they have added in so we get the full evolution line. That's awesome. But some of you are going to have noticed what I have noticed. And to be clear, like I say, we've got the sell sheet. It's definitely not in there because it's not on the sell sheet. There's no jumbo. The Verizon had a jumbo. And we can look at things like the Cyclozar EX box. That was the most recent one that was released. That had a jumbo. So the question is, and I don't have an answer to this. We'll have to wait and see how we go in the future. Are we getting either one foil promo and a jumbo or two foil promos or are the jumbos just done now i don't have an answer 
But I'm going to be honest with you. If the Jumbos are gone, I am going to miss them. This Annihilate, there ain't no Jumbo. But there are two other products that have gone and been revealed, and they are the Chen Pao and Tinkerton EX Battle Decks. Now, these are, of course, replacing the old V Decks. And one of the things that's really cool here, Chen Pao is really good, and Chen Pao is alternate art. This is not the same artwork as we see on the regular Chen Pao. This is an alternate art card, which is extremely cool. And remember, Chen Pao is like a legit playable card. It's got an ability whereby if it's in the active, once during your turn, you may search your deck for two water energy and put them into your hand. But that also needs to be borne in mind that this is once per turn per Chen Pao, which means that if you can be switching between multiple, you can use it multiple times during your turn. We are then getting the Baxcalibur in the set that's just got that ability we've seen a bunch of times before. Lets you attach as much water energy during your turn as you like. And we've got an ability, or oh, it's not an ability, an attack on Chen Pao that says that you can discard as much water energy as you like from any of your Pokemon and deal 60 damage for each one discarded in this way. So Chen Pao searches out the energy, Baxcalibur attaches the energy, Chen Pao does massive damage because you've got all the energy on there. It's extremely cool, ladies and gentlemen. It is extremely cool. Yeah, this, this is one to get excited about. This looks like it could legit be a top tier deck. Now, as a side note, we know that Chen Pao is not being cut from Paldea Evolved. We know that for a fact. Because it's literally on the booster pack. You, you don't cut cards that are on the booster pack. Like, that, that, that doesn't happen. That's not a done thing. So, no. There is absolutely no way they're cutting regular Chen Pao. And also, this is an alternate art. So, why would they do that? That makes no sense. Because then we'd be missing an artwork. So, it's on the booster pack. It's alternate art. This is just a cool alternate art of a very good card that is now available in an EX deck. And as a side note, yeah, Pokemon have knocked it out of the park with this one. It's alternate art. It's really playable. It's going to bring down the price of Chen Pao quite nicely or make it easier to get hold of. This is just brilliant. What about Tinkerton? I don't feel the same about Tinkerton. Firstly, it's not alternate art. Literally the same as the regular art. So cool for that, I suppose. And secondly, Tinkerton's just not as good. And I know it's got an interesting attack for two colorless energy. Does 30 damage for each card in your hand. But it's a stage two. And then you've got to get a giant hand of cards. And then we know that in Paldea Revolved, we're getting stuff like Iono. Which is going to be played a huge amount. It's going to be like a four of in a lot of decks. It's going to be played in every deck. It makes both players shovel the hand and put it on the bottom of their deck and then draw a number of cards equal to the remaining prizes. It's going to be a staple in like every deck. So if my opponent is ever trying to play this and build up a big hand size, I, I can just use Iono to mess with them. So I don't really like Tinkerton as a card. And I don't really like Tinkerton because it's not alternate art. And whereas I look at the Chen Pao EX deck and I'm like, yeah! I look at this and I'm like, no. Th this isn't cool. This isn't cool at all. Also, this is the point where some of you are probably thinking, well, hang on a second, we'll see. Maybe Tinkerton is being taken out of Paldea Revolved and put in here. Probably not. Like, th there's a chance. I'm not saying it hasn't been taken out. But I've not seen it confirmed that it's taken out. And it doesn't really make much sense. Like I told you, we've got three Japanese sets. And those three Japanese sets have 18 EXs in. We add in Pikachu. We take out regular art Annihilate to make room for Pikachu. It's not a dramatic pause. That's it. We done. We don't need to do anything else. So if we were to take Tinkerton out of the set, we would have to replace it with something. And there are options. There was a promo Cloth EX that Japan has had that we haven't. So, cloth would work. That absolutely is an option. 
but that's generally not the way Pokemon tend to do it. We don't generally tend to see cards removed to be put in EX decks. That is EX boxes, but it doesn't happen in EX decks. And also these promos tend to be promos or get popped into special sets down the line. They don't tend to be put into sets at the earliest opportunity. So yeah, I suppose there is a chance that Tinkerton's been taken out. But there isn't a really obvious candidate to put in other than Cloth, which I'm, I'm not buying personally. And we don't generally do that with the X deck. So yes, there is a chance that Tinkerton has been taken out. But I don't think it has my prediction. And let's be clear, it is a prediction as it stands at the moment. But my prediction is it's staying in there. I think it's still going to be in the set. I know not everyone agrees with me and that's fine. But I just don't... And we know there's 18 EXs. So if we're taking it out, which we generally don't tend to do for EX decks, we've got to find something else to put in instead, which would be a card we wouldn't usually do that with. And I'm, I'm just not. I don't think it's a thing. Be fun finding out though, won't it? For now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this. I want to know your opinions. I want to know anything you want to tell me in the comment section. So get us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon, card games, Pokemon, card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and chat with us about Pokemon, or anything else that doesn't have to be Pokemon. And you can get shoutouts on the channel like the lovely Eric Ridgway, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support. And for being a very lovely person. But by far the most important thing as always. Look after yourselves till next time would ya. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.